Inspire is a powerful tool for analyzing large collections of text data. In this video, I'd like to walk through the primary set of tools in the application. Each collection of text files you process in Inspire is called a dataset, and you can group related datasets together into projects. The project window lets you manage all of your datasets. You can create datasets from all kinds of different sources, and those are demonstrated in other videos. Let's open up the dataset that comes with Inspire. This is a collection of world news from the organization Voice of America in the summer of 2011. This was the period of time when Osama bin Laden was killed, the tsunami hit Japan and caused the nuclear reactor to shut down, and the Libyan revolution was beginning. Inspire is a single application with multiple tools in it. Each tool has a specific function and lets you explore the data in different ways. The first tools that you'll see are the Galaxy Visualization and the Document Viewer. The Galaxy Visualization shows every document in your dataset as a gray dot. During processing, the system compares all the words and phrases in each of the documents and places related documents closer to each other and unrelated documents farther apart from each other. It then picks the most representative keywords from that cluster and displays it. For example, you can see the Japan Tsunami documents down here and the Bin Laden documents up here. When I drag my mouse across a set of documents, they turn green and become selected. Their titles and text load into the document viewer. Here I can read the text of any of the documents and get a better feel for why they were grouped together. The green selection model is an important one in Inspire. Almost every tool in the system sets or responds to this selection of documents. For example, this sidebar widget now shows me the top ranked terms used in the selection. If I choose a cluster closer to the Bin Laden documents, you'll see the terms update to reflect the new selection. Another common way to make a selection is to do a keyword search. The menu bar contains a quick way to do a keyword search. For example, I can type Libya and hit return to make a selection of documents containing that term. I can also click the advanced search icon and perform more targeted searches. If you want to save a selection and view it again later, you can create a group that contains all of the currently selected documents. Other tools available to investigate your data include a time tool that can show you the frequency of documents over time, how documents you've placed into groups are distributed over time, show you terms that seem to emerge unexpectedly, and a visual flow view of themes or groups. Themes are a collection of words and phrases that can be used to help describe your data at a higher level than the galaxy labels. The Facets tool is a great way to see the themes and is an interesting way to slice and dice your data. Each column is a category created by the system or the user and each item points to a set of documents. For example, this data set was processed with some metadata including author, location, and people. If I click on the Japan facet, the others rearrange themselves to show their overlap with the new selection. Now without reading any of the documents, I know that these two authors have mostly written about Japan. The stories involve the Fukushima reactor, a massive earthquake, and I have some names of people who are mentioned in the stories. With Galaxy, Time, Facets, and the Doc Viewer, you'll be able to gain new insights into your data and make connections you may not have found any other way. The rest of the videos in this series will cover the tools and techniques in more detail.